What up, guys? This is Casey is Raw again, and this is talking about wrestling again. So, AEW did it again with the surprise announcement, and I have heard rumors mainly, I think it was uh, the Saul Monster brought this up, but Tony Khan. At the beginning of Dynamite, he was saying that he has purchased ROH. And it's damn near 21 years, to, almost to, to the day when WWF bought WCW. It's not as big as that was, but it was still, it's a big deal still, because, um, uh, Ring of Honor has a ton of great talent. Well, at least what I saw on the roster, I don't know how many people they're going to actually uh, utilize. I mean, I know Ring of Honor released everyone from their contracts like before the end of the year on 2021 and but I know they've been run, starting going to start running some shows again. And I'm wondering how far have these uh, sales talks been talk uh, been going for? I mean, I remember when it was a few months, two or three months before the end of the year, where Ring of Honor says that they're going to release everyone out of the contracts. And uh, they were going to go in hiatus for a while. And I'm just wondering, like I said, that, like, was Tony Khan already talking, talking to them about purchasing them? I mean, Ring of Honor, yeah, they had to, they were bumping up at the before AEW was uh, was born, was launched, but um, when AEW came, no, came in existence, pretty much killed their momentum because. Bunch, their great talent went to AEW. And then the pandemic didn't help. And then, uh, gosh, what's his name? Um, the guy, trying to, Marty Scroll became their head booker and, uh, the most paid talent as well. And then, the whole controversy behind him. It, that was another nail in the coffin for Ring of Honor right there. Now I'm just wondering what AEW is going to do with ROH. I mean, are they going to actually uh, have run shows? Are they planning to have some another person pretty much be like, yeah, like the booker behind it? I mean, there's rumors people thinking about Cody might be handed Ring of Honor. I mean, we hadn't seen Cody at WWE yet. I mean, they teased it couple times to be at WWE, but there's no firm 
of the signing Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes. So it's interesting. I mean, the main reason why they picked it up was for the tape library. I mean, gosh, you know they gotta have a ton of great matches on there. I mean, 20 years of ROH. So, and then there's that rumor about um, AEW going to HBO Max. Oh, sorry about that. But, yeah, I mean, it's going to entice HBO Max a little bit more since uh, they have the Ring of Honor tape library now. And, actually, it bumps the value of AEW up, too, because of that, as well. But, it, yeah, there was more signs that this was happening. I mean, look, you had uh, Brian Danielson and CM Punk going to be inducted into the Ring of Honor Hall of Fame. Yeah, I know AEW is a little bit more lenient about letting wrestlers doing side gigs. So it wasn't sho too shocking about the Ring of Honor Hall of Fame inductees. It's... That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing signs that this could have been in talks for a while. I mean, like I was saying, you know, the restructuring of Ring of Honor. But, you know, remember people were talking about how WWE's restructuring themselves so they can get ready to sell their company by releasing all over 80 wrestlers and then a bunch of people from behind the scenes and executives. So, I mean, I see signs that this was happening. I didn't, did I actually think William of Honor was going to be purchased? No, I was like, I had no idea. And then, I was hearing rumors about, yeah, the HBO Max. And I'm kind of hoping they do like the WWE Network way for AEW. So I can, like, it'd be great to, to not, like, have to pay $50 or plus to sit and watch and have problems try to watch the pay-per-views. That's the one thing, at least with the WWE Network and Peacock, that when, you know, you're hearing about their, was it special, attractions, whatever they call it, I'm still calling it the pay-per-view. I don't care. But, it's good to know that, like, all right, I'm going to sit down, watch it, don't have to worry about, I had to dish out 50 bucks, 60 bucks, or how much WrestleMania was going before the whole of the network. And, yeah, they were still doing the whole uh, pay-per-view with that as well. I mean, I'm like, it's just stupid. And, like... If you have internet capabilities at your house, then um, it's a lot cheaper to watch the WWE Network than paying 30 40 50 $60 for a peep WWE pay-per-view. 
And that was happening when I was hearing about WWE Network because to the point I was getting upset with these pay-per-view costs and the show's not being really that good. At least like 10 bucks. It's like, ooh, it was worth $10, give or take. So, I'm, I actually feel like, more than likely, I'm getting my $10 worth. But, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like AEW's pay-per-view doesn't, isn't worth their pay-per-view money. It's just, it'd be a lot easier for more people to get into AEW. Even... Especially if they do go to HBO Max. I mean, think about it. I mean, it'd be a hell of a lot easier. And they'll probably bump up to more viewers on the shows. It's going to be interesting. I mean, I know watching the Solo Monster, he's thinking about... Maybe Ring of Honor being the feeding system. I, I just don't know. I I don't know what the plans of Ring of Honor. I don't know if, unless they have someone ready to take over the bookings. So Tony does have to do both promotions. Like I said, I mean, it could be Cody. It could be Cody's uh, project. And he would have more power. But it's definitely going to be interesting because it's like I was bringing back up the WWF when they bought WCW. You had no idea what they were going to do with WCW. We are all hoping that WCW was going to continue with some uh, the brain trust behind the WWF. And, you know, and if anything, we were going to try, uh, they were going to get the WCW versus WWF. Even though we eventually did get that, it was it was garbage. It it was mediocre at best. But um, I don't know. I hope it doesn't happen. What like when WCW was purchased is that it gets one storyline and then it's pretty much put away and. Forgotten, uh, and forgotten. But I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. But like I was saying, there's a ton of signs pointing something was in the works. I do not think this was something two weeks ago. You know the talks were us happening. I mean. Or even like a few, like a week ago, like Tony Khan's like, oh, or like the people behind Ring of Honor, like, do you, hey, do you want to buy Ring of Honor? I mean, I think maybe both companies came together talking about it, and and, uh, and my idea is that's when the whole start of the restructuring of Ring of Honor was starting to happen. But I, I'm pretty sure AEW paid way more money for Ring of Honor than what WWF paid for WCW. I mean, they got bargain for WCW. Especially, you know, for some of the people they had, you know, the contracts go to WWF and 
in the type library, but it's definitely going to be interesting, but I'm hoping Ring of Honor is going to continue. I don't want to see them just be dissolved and dead, and all we got is the tape library for Ring of Honor now. I, it's I'm just saying right now the future is uncertain for Ring of Honor hopefully it would be their feeding system and hopefully they will continue it's going to be 50-50 I mean it's going to continue or it's going to die so Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.